Hello student, we complete the second section of this video. I hope you learned how to create curves and modify them. If you have any doubts or you want to ask some more questions, so you can write down in the comment section. Or we can also create a additional videos based on that queries. So it will also help the other students. And in this video, we learn some tips and tricks. So it's a bonus video. So I create a curve. You can choose any tool for creating this curve like this and hit enter button. So I want to modify this curve by using control vertex. Like this, I modify the shape and like this. Now I get to creation mode and press W. So it's a pivot. By using this, you can move the shape. By default, this pivot is in the center of that object. But some cases it's not available in the center. It's maybe in the right, top, bottom, or left. So if you want to change the position of this pivot, so there are a couple of methods, but you can choose any one of them. So first method is by pressing D key. If you press D, so its icon is changed. Now you can move anywhere. then d key again so now it's place here and the object will control from here you can also change the pivot position by using insert key it's also same work like d key then hit insert again and the other method is by using menus so go to modify and choose center pivot so there are a couple of method to change the pivot position you can choose any one of them and the second problem that we face sometimes these vertices not clearly visible on the viewport due to this light gray color so you can change the background color of this viewport by using alt b so there are couple of combinations of different different colors simple press alt b color will change like this you can choose color by contrast if you want to off this grid so click on this icon so you can enable or disable grid from here and the third tips is we often use attribute editor and this channel box so we have to click here like this or we have to click here so you can also open and close these channel box and attribute editor by using control a simple these are toggle buttons so they will switch like this so it's a fast way to change attribute editor and channel box and fourth tips is if your laptop or desktop screen is very small you want to remove some panels from here so you can also change the ui settings by using windows ui elements click on this thick line you can off command line you can off this range slider and time slider so by removing these panels so it's a lots of space for modeling purpose so you can change the ui settings also by using a space bar you can switch one viewport to another viewport but uh, in this process you have to press two time but you can also switch to one viewport to second viewport by single 
press so first press space bar and then right click now these viewport related options are available here you can directly switch to perspective view or right click and go to top view like this so simple press space bar and then right click and choose any view that you want to switch so there are some additional view available to switch like bottom front back so these are some additional options they are not available in this four viewport view so in the upcoming video we will come with some more tips and tricks videos i hope you like this session thank you